everyone, so this is a really fun video to make for me because a new CSS layout system came out called CSS Grid. And according to Can I Use, CSS Grid Layout is now available in about 70% of browsers. And I have this website that I built as part of the uh, React, tutor React Redux tutorials that I have up on YouTube. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and convert uh, some of this Flexbox stuff to be CSS Grid instead. So I did cheat a little bit. I uh, have some stuff where I went through and tried this out and then I stashed it. So I'm going to use that as a cheat sheet. But basically, uh, I'm going to walk you through what we have right now in this website. And this website is just, uh, it's kind of like an affiliate website or something, but the point of it is to build parts of a quadcopter and then cost things out based on the parts. So uh, it's just a pretty simple React site. And there's a lot of Flexbox everywhere in here. So we're gonna change the Flexbox over to be CSS grid. So like this is a flex container, this is a flex container, and this whole thing is a flex container, these are flex elements. Um, we'll start with the home page. So this this home page, you've got this part right here is a flex element, and this is a flex element inside of a big home page container. So we're gonna switch those over. Uh, this is the home page JS uh, React component here. And you kind of see there's the container and inside there's products container and you've got a shopping list container. It's just two things in a row uh, right next to each other. Pretty simple. Um, and it's not that bad with Flexbox, but basically there's a lot of extra junk you don't need to do here. So we're just gonna clean this up. Like the, the coolest thing is you don't have to do any of this. You can just say display grid and then what we're going to do is we're going to do column, uh, sorry, uh, grid templates columns. And we're going to do these frame sizes. So we're going to say three and then one. And this will template it out. This is kind of interesting. This will template things out based on how many elements you put in here, like the size in the, uh, in the row. So the first column will be three and this second one will be one and these will be relative to each other so it's going to be like 75 percent 25 percent let's check this out and it should look it does look exactly the same so the reason it looks exactly the same is because on flexbox before i had this at 75 percent width and this 25 percent width uh so that's that one but the cool thing is you can see i just got lit i got rid of a lot of junk there like the the, the uh, whole thing is much simpler. I don't even have to address the uh, child elements directly, which is cool. So this grid template column thing is very nice. Um, the next one we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna do this build guide CSS. And I kind of have the same deal going on here where I ended up just using frames. So we're gonna do that, uh, this build guide here. Same deal, it's like 75% and then 25%. And I'm okay with, you know, 25% or 20 or 30% of the people that hit this site not able to uh, see it correctly because this site doesn't get any traffic to begin with. So, but don't do this on a production site right now. Probably too early. Uh, your employer would probably not be happy with you. So this main section right here, uh... Yeah, we've got this main container and then there's a BG row and then product cards. So you can see I did it inside of here and then the children in here are gonna be the flex elements. So we're gonna do that. It's in this BG row thing. So I'm gonna get rid of this browser prefix. Let's just say it's for grid get rid of this, get rid of this. Don't need that because it's a flex uh, address. And then we're gonna say, uh, again, it's gonna be grid template columns, uh, 3FR, 1FR. And I'll change this a little bit just so you can see. Okay, so you did see a difference there. Uh, and you don't actually have to do margin. Um, 
a cool thing is you can say um, grid column gap and then it'll do that for you so actually should have that should have gotten rid of the margin essentially but we can say something like a grid column gap uh, let's do like 3em yeah so you can see that it put a big gap there we only want 1em I just did that to show you and then you can say uh, just to prove this is actually doing something one to one yeah it'll change to be 50% 50% basically so you can see it vastly simplifies the CSS which is very nice it's definitely very nice um, the next one we're going to do is this about section. So about's pretty similar, it's just going to be reversed a little bit. I'm going to get rid of uh, all the CSS in there that we don't need. So I'm um, actually, I don't need any of this stuff. I'll put the margins just like we did here. We can get rid of that. I'm not sure why I had that to begin with. Um, and then the the thing is, this is a little bit reverse, so I'm gonna say um, this will be one, and then this will be three. Okay, cool. So, uh, what's next? Do we have anything next? Yes, we do. Uh, we're going to look at this product grid. It's going to be a little bit more tricky. So this product grid here is these these uh, columns that lay out here in a row, and then they wrap. So they're wrapping down and making more rows if you make it smaller. It's a little bit trickier, but it's pretty cool what you can do here. So what we're going to do is a grid template columns and then repeat. So let's go ahead and go into the product grid. And I'm going to dump all this because these are all flex things. I'm going to dump all of this but margin just because I still want that margin there. But actually, we can dump the margin too. So I'm going to say um, display grid. And then I will say grid template columns and then we'll say repeat okay and the first argument is this is kind of like a modifier and the second argument is the size so I'm gonna say it's gonna do auto fit which is kind of a cool thing which is basically what it's doing now with the wrapping and then I will say uh, did I really say 200 picks okay we'll say 200 picks um, I think that it's probably more um, beneficial to use something like that oh, a little too small a little too small uh, still a little too small okay that looks a little better there is a problem and the problem is we want to do something like this where we have the grid column gap so I'll throw that in there and I believe we had a margin of 0 0.5 EM before a little small actually a little small I think the problem is because if you have elements and they each have a margin around them and then then if you line them up uh, it actually adds up to one because they each have their own margin of one half so now that should kind of look more like it used to um, I'm gonna make these a little bit bigger yeah there we go that looks a little bit more normal and this, these are this this website's for building quadcopters, by the way. It's uh, it's for building racing quadcopters. So these are the frames, and then you slap a flight controller on it, and then you put some motors on it, and some speed controllers. Get your camera, and then by the end of it, you've got a uh, you know a quadcopter. I've got some presets here, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So. Anyway, that is the uh, quick and dirty conversion to CSS grid from what was before uh, a lot of flexbox, and now it's uh, a whole lot simpler. So 
Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you learned something. Or at least I made you curious about uh, CSS Grid a little bit and um, made you happy that you don't have to use Flexbox anymore I in the future. Obviously, 70% browser usage is not good for now. Anyway, thanks for watching.